Hey, it's Zax and Jimfro from Ready to Check Pull. We got to test one of the bosses of the first raid in Shadowlands, so we're here to break it down for you real quick. The full guide will be out later on, but for now, here's a little preview. The Council of Blood. This one is special. It's the dancing boss. There's literally a few points in the fight where everyone stops and you have to dance battle with the bosses. Not kidding. It's as ridiculous as it sounds. Outside of that, the idea of the encounter is that you have to fight three bosses at the same time, but you have to single target each one of them down because when one of them dies, the remaining one heals to full. They also gain a new ability when one of the bosses dies, so the fight starts out pretty hectic with a bunch of little mechanics, but becomes more punishing over the course of the fight. Before starting the fight, you have to decide what order you want to kill the bosses in, depending on which mechanics you want to deal with. Killing Castellan the Klaus means you don't have to deal with his damage reducing shield and his constant charging around the room. Killing Baroness Frida means you don't have to deal with her taunt swap and tank damage as well as her random red swirlies to dodge. And killing Lord Stravos means you don't have to deal with his tank damage and the dancers that move around the room that you have to dodge constantly. So to clarify, whenever a boss dies, you no longer have to deal with their abilities. But what also happens when a boss dies, the other boss or bosses that are still alive gain an extra ability. So Castellan the Klaus first gets a charge that needs to be group soaked. And second, he'll start to occasionally spawn ads that fixate random players. Baroness Frida first gets a debuff that needs to be group soaked. And second, she'll start to spawn little ads that do damage to random players. And Lord Stravos first gets a debuff where the players have to stack with their linked partner and keep moving together for a few seconds. In second, he'll spawn more dancer ads that move around randomly and have to be CC'd. So that's a ton of information to consider, but we're gonna figure out the best kill order and we'll let you know what that is when we come out with our full guide. Last and certainly least, we're gonna go over the dance. It happens every time any boss gets the 50% health. The bosses go away and you're shown a designated spot in the room that you have to quickly get to or else you die instantly. Once you're there, you wait for instructions from the boss. They'll tell you to press one, two, three, or four, and you press one, two, three, or four. Repeat a few times and that's it. So it's less of a dance and more of a pin number simulator. If you press the wrong number, you get stunned for 30 seconds and you have to do the dance three different times. But that's the fight. I get that this is supposed to be cute and fun, but it just doesn't play out that way. I honestly wanted to appreciate the novelty of this, but I just keep thinking about doing this boss a hundred times when re-clearing and having to do this awful dance 300 times. Personally, this fight's just not for me. Hopefully they change some things to make it more interactive, but that's my take on it. Yeah, the dancing thing isn't the best, but I guess at least it made us laugh the first couple times. Some other things to note about this boss. It's a pretty standard council style boss, but only single target damage matters. So funnel classes will be really good. Also, the fight is at the end of a wing in the raid, so it's probably intended to be a little bit more difficult. And the room you fight in is massive. So we're wondering if the later mechanics require you to use more of the room somehow. I guess we'll find out. Thanks so much for checking out this guide preview of the Council of Blood. We're always looking for more people to test with, so after you've liked the video, make sure to join our Discord and send us a message in Shadowlands to get an invite to the Ready Check Pull Guild. Hope to see you in beta. Peace.